this is Wendy from Perfectly Gorgeous Papercraft. Thank you for clicking onto my video today. Today I'm going to show you how to make a pop-up acetate card. This is the beautiful card that we're going to make. So it's a standard card size, so you just pop it into a standard size envelope and when you open up the card you have the beautiful pop-up flowers. So they're attached onto the acetate. So it just closes down and when they open it, it pops up like that. The stamp sets that we're going to use today are Petal Potpourri. We're going to use one of those flowers on there. Flower Shop. And then the small flowers, they are the petite petals. All of these stamp sets are from Stamping Up. And from the Sassy Salutation stamp set, we're going to use the Happy Birthday to pop inside today. So let me show you how to make it. We're going to start with a piece of cardstock that measures 10 and a half inches by five and seven eighths and bring in the scoreboard and we're going to score at four and a quarter four and three quarters five and a quarter five and three quarters and six and a quarter move my scoreboard so you've got the five score lines I will put all of my measurements up on the screen for you when I do the editing so we're just going to go over the score lines and we're going to concertina all of those just go over them with your bone folder once you've gone over those you can just if you bring them in pull them together and inside this little channel that is where your acetate will go to put on your flowers to make them pop up so that will be the inside of your card so if we just turn that over and we need to tape all of this together because that will be the outside of your card so on the back you have two channels so inside those I'm going to use the new tape from Stamping Up, which is fantastic because you can tear this one off. So it replaces the old red tape that we used to have that I didn't get along with very well. It would always stick to my fingers and I'd end up in a big mess with it. Whereas this one, roughly measure, tear it off, and place a strip down across the channel like that then if you would like to just flip that card over and we will just pop in our tape I'm going to put a piece of tape on the front of the channel and another piece of tape across the back of the channel okay so that like I said that will be the inside of your card we're going to leave that bit for now and we're just going to do the front of the card so before we actually stick those down we will make the front part so to do that you will need your mat 
which will be five and five eighths by four inches. And your DSP needs to be five and three eighths by three and three quarters. So we're just going to mat those down. I'm just going to use my glue runner. It's quite quick to use that. Just for video's sake, I don't want it to take too long for you. So that will sit nicely on the front of our card. For the ribbon, you need two pieces of ribbon. One of them needs to be nine inches long. The second piece needs to be six inches. So the ribbon is just going to run across the front. This is just normal double-sided tape for this one. This is just the, um, the cheap tape that you get from um, just your local art and craft store. If you're in Australia, you might pick some up from the reject shop or Flash Harry's. Just one of the cheap shops that we have in this area. Once you've done that, we can then pop that piece on the front. Now for this, I'm going to use my multi-purpose Tombow glue. And the reason I'm using this is because you can actually put some glue over the top of your ribbon so that you know it's going to be securely down. There's nothing worse than making a beautiful card and then having it all fall apart just because you haven't used the right adhesives. So yeah, just make sure that you've got all the right adhesives before you start and yeah, you can't go wrong. So we'll just place that down, a little bit of glue on my hands there. Okay, so that's on the front. Then what we'll do is peel off our tape and we'll actually pop this together. So all you do is just peel them off and we just line it up and glue that down. There we go. You might want to go over that again with your bone folder just on the front and the back. So, perfect. Now, for decorating. Like I said to you, we have used a couple of the flower stamp sets from Stamping Up. And what I always do with my flowers is I just get my bone folder and flick up the ends of the flower. So, rather than it being flat, it just gives it that nice little curl on the ends, which... I think looks really lovely. Then with a stamping up dimensional, I'm just going to pop two of those on the back of there. Just peel off those bits. Pop down a flower. And again, I've I've already run my bone folder along these flowers. We'll just pop those up. I've just got smaller little foam dots here just for the smaller flower. Oops. Stick that one onto there. We can attach that flower and we basically just build it up with the different size flowers. And then what I have done, I've just punched out some of these leaves and all I did for that was I've used the Stamping Up Bird Builder Punch that's got this lovely leaf in there. So I'll just show you all I, if you've just got a little scrap it's a perfect way of using up all of your scraps. And if you just go in onto the leaf, punch it out and it'll give you just the leaf. So if I have 
a bit of spare time and lots of scraps quite often I'll just sit in front of the TV and I just punch out a whole heap of leaves and put them into a container and then you've always got them on hand for whenever you need to use them. Just a little tip with some of your scraps because you always end up with so many pieces of scrap cardstock. Now with the leaves the stems a little bit long so I'm just going to pull off a little bit of that, apply a little bit of the Tombow onto the back, we'll just push that down under the first flower that we popped on there. I'm not sure of this angle whether you can see it but I've just popped that under there like that. can hear some banging in the background that's my husband working outside we're having a swimming pool put in which is very exciting so our backyard is a little bit like a construction site at the moment and hubby's working out there trying to um, fix it all up so that's it's going to take a little while so my apologies for the, all the noise in the background Okay, there's all the leaves being popped on there and the last thing we need for the front is the smaller piece of ribbon which is six inches long thread it through I'm just going to tie that in a knot and we'll trim that off there we go so that's the front of the card all finished now we'll start working on the inside. So for the inside of the card, again, it's exactly the same measurements as the, the cardstock for the front. So 5 and 5 eighths by 4 inches and the DSP is 5 and 3 eighths by 3 and 3 quarters. Again with my glue roller. Just going to pop that one onto there. There's no ribbon or anything going on this one, so I'm just going to use my glue roller again. And that can go to the top part of the card. Just measure that up and pop that one down. Okay, for this piece, this is where you're going to have your sentiment. So I've just used the Whisper White cardstock from Stamping Up, of course, and it's the same measurements as the Garden Green that we used. And um, yeah, so five and five eighths by four. And I'm using the Happy Birthday from the Sassy Salutations stamp set. And I'm going to use the rose red to coordinate with the rose red card base. Just ink that one up. There we go, there's the lovely happy birthday. Then I'll come in, I'm just going to sponge around the outside. So I'll just pop a little bit of ink on my sponge and once we've done that, then that I've put that one a little bit up the top because I'd like to leave a little bit of room to allow for the writing. So with the glue roller, we'll sit that one in inside the card on this side, line him up, stick him down and there we have that. Then we can go in with our acetate. Now the acetate, this one measures five and seven eighths by two and a half. I'm just going to adhere it to the, the front part of the valley 
just peel that one off and we'll attach that down. There we go. Move that down and then that's that's in there. I'm not going to do the back part just yet because with all of the flowers from the flower shop I've actually pre-stamped and punched these ones just again just to save time for the video I didn't curl them though so I'm just going to quickly curl those up with my bone folder and we'll come in with some little pieces of acetate hopefully you can see that I've just got some thin strips of the acetate hoping you can see that on the video now with my stamping up glue dots I'm just going to pop a glue dot onto the bottom of the strip and another one to the top and we're going to put on one of those flowers and then we'll sit that inside our little valley. So there we have one of the flowers attached in there and we'll get another strip so glue dot on the bottom, glue dot on the top on a flower, we'll sit this one over here and I might, I've just pre-punched out some of the smaller flowers from Petite Petals, I've got a few of them here so I did the rose red, the garden green, the crumb cake and crisp cantaloupe which is all the lovely colours that you see in the DSP so it all coordinates lovely that's the beauty with stamping up you know that you can match all of your cardstock with all of your inks and your ribbons and all the embellishments they're all going to match up perfectly so it takes all the guesswork out of it for you. Okay, I'm just going to have the three flowers popped up with the acetate. And I'm just going to put a glue dot on these other flowers that I have punched out. And just glue them onto the acetate. Curl up those ones and this little crisp cantaloupe one I'm going to put inside the garden green. A little rose red. I might sit that one down there. I need to come in with another crumb cake. I think it needs a garden green one in the middle of there as well. And what are you thinking? Um, another one. You can just play around with it. We'll stick that one there now. I think that that is looking pretty beautiful. That's gorgeous. I think we need one just in here. I'm going to do another crisp cantaloupe. So glue dot, pop him on. Once you're happy with the way that that's looking, you can then pull off the backing, glue that together. Let's make sure it's all nicely glued. I tend to close him up run your fingers across all of that so you know that it's well and truly stuck when you open it up you get your beautiful pop-up flowers 
one thing that we need to finish him off is the pearls. So again with the stamping up pearls I'm going to put the largest ones inside the big flowers. I just use my craft knife, slide it underneath the pearls and it comes off perfectly. And, and I'm, I'll put the small one onto the smaller flowers. This really just makes it pop. Looks absolutely gorgeous. And with my happy birthday, I'm just going to put three pearls around that sentiment to make that stand out. How beautiful is that? There we go guys. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial today on how to make a pop-up acetate card. Thank you again and I'll see you all next time.